Hey, it's Mac. It is Tuesday. It is May 19th. This will be our chart lesson for today. And most of the, I mean, really the whole day we spent in the trading range. It started out at a, a much tighter two tiers down here, really. And But later in the day, as we went higher, of course, measure this one. And then you get pretty much a measured move. We went a little higher than that, but that gave you a, a good target right there. And we pretty much stayed in that price range for most of the day. We broke out up here a few times and we didn't actually get break out of the entire range until well after two. So this wouldn't have really mattered over here. But just when you think you won't get a measured move, if you measure that one and you move it over here, I think it's a perfect measured move to the tick. So, uh, and one thing you would notice on the way up here, you measure that measured leg and we were looking for a second one up and notice how we didn't quite get there generally when you see that you'll sell off harder in the other direction and that held true today but when this late afternoon move that gave us another perfect measured move over here so always look for those measured moves you, you don't trade off of those a lot of times people get confused and say what good does that do me but it helps you to know where prices are heading and if they don't get there then it tells you something else it tells you that you're probably going to get a big sell off and even though it didn't look like we were going to get it Look what happened. It came and it was a perfect measured move, just like you would expect. So, but, but really for all intents and purposes, we were purposes. We were sideways all day and you can see how we're above and below the EMA quite a bit. Um, there was really two legs up here. Notice that. And we, we actually corrected and tried to push another leg up. We were trying to make that measured move most likely. And prices just couldn't do it and finally gave up. Sometimes you'll get three pushes. Most of the time you'll get two two legs. And But really what you could say is we had one leg, a little two-legged correction, and then there's two legs in this move. There's actually two legs here, and, and there's a couple of legs here as well. So you can see these things. And I had a trader that I've talked to a few times and she actually sent me her chart today and she saw all of these little moves and things. I, I was pretty impressed. I think she was pretty proud of herself too. And she should be because she's seeing this stuff and that's good. So she took a couple of trades off based off of reaching our target. She got some setups and um, seemed to have had a good day from last I talked to her. So good for her that she's seeing this stuff but let's back out we'll talk about the trade you've seen the big picture now but let's back out talk about the trades you had to be patient there's some good trades here but you had to be patient i'm gonna try to get big enough where we can see the thing it looks really big on my chart but when it my screen is so big now that when you kind of move out it doesn't look quite that big this this really came a little before seven o'clock and there's a little bit of congestion here too as well but this actually broke higher and kind of broke outside of that little congestion area and then ran right out the other side and the fact that we're so far away from the EMA, you know we're probably headed back. And the, the bias is kind of down. So you may take this trade. It's actually a, just a hair before 7 o'clock. So you may not have you may not have been here. Time on that one is at 6.55. So if you weren't trading at 7, you wouldn't have seen that. Um, usually I'm sitting here ready to go by 7. So... Uh, that would have been a good trade. You're just looking for a scout back to the EMA. That's the key if you got enough room. But this one goes a little further. And then it bounces. And notice you get this little trap right here. We just actually get back inside. This this, this was just a failed break out of this resistance area right here. And we came back. We tested it once. We tested it twice. And you get a second entry short right there. And that's, that's a fairly bearish bar. Just a reminder... Another trader recommended this thought process to me, and it makes good sense. I'm going to start using it going forward. But if your bar closes in the lower one-third, then it's bearish. If it closes in the higher one-third, it's bullish. And so you need to be at least in the lower one-third. And the closer you get to the low, the more bearish. And the closer it gets to the high, the more bullish and the better the, the trades are, actually. But this one is fairly 
Uh, this is this is bearish enough. It's a double test. It's a second entry short. You go short. You got plenty of room to get out for the EMA. It turns out to be another nice trade. It gives you another one right here. And again, you got enough room. We're just trading this. All it did was the range kind of tightened up here. And as long as you got room to get out, that's the key. And that's really, you don't get another. You got a fairly decent setup there, but the signal bar is too neutral. Um, I wouldn't call that one more tick, one or two more ticks higher, and it would have been right in the middle of the bar. But this one's plenty. And I don't remember which way this broke. So it doesn't matter. Uh, if it broke higher and turned down, you could have gone short. But really, you're better off just to let this complete and you can go short. And it actually is a second entry. We're not looking for second. Let me clarify that. We're not looking for second entry shorts in um, when it's range and when you're tight congestion like that. And all tight congestion is a small is, is just a miniature range. So we call it congestion if it, you know, eight or 15 bars or something like that or less it's it's congestion but it's just a tight small range is all it is so so we're not looking for second entries in ranges necessarily but if you see one that fits the entry the way you enter is you enter off the resistance short or off the support long and if you get a failed breakout then you try to ride it back and so that's generally how you want to enter that so um but if you get a second entry, it's okay. To, that, that just strengthens the trade because it means you got two legs up. So nice short right there. And again, you're just looking for prices to come back here, but they go a little further. You may try to take that trade, but generally I'd wait on a higher low, which comes here. And then you're really too close to the EMA. And by that time, you might take that trade right there. I'd be willing to give that one a green. But anything past that, you're starting to stack up side by side and notice how there's no bodies. That's congestion. And we're not way away from the EMA this time like we were up here. So you don't know where prices are going. They may push through. They may turn down. We're not getting a lot of rejection off that. So there's a good chance we may push through. But you just don't know that. So you're better off to stay out of that. Now, at this point, you didn't really have all that. I mean, if you saw that on the right side of your chart, you don't have all that congestion. It just looks like a failed breakout and a higher low to get back in there. And it would have taken a minute to work through it, but it would have worked out. Following the rules usually works out well for you. And you didn't really get a chance to enter this one. That one, notice you're right into the, it's just too big a bar and you're right back into the support again. So you can't take it. You just kind of have to watch this one. And you make you make that low, you test it once, you test it twice, you get a nice bullish bar, look how far away you are. Yeah, that's a little bit of congestion, but being that far away from the EMA and that being a triple bottom, this is basically a higher low. Is what, you still consider that a higher low. I like going long right there. And you and it's a little failed break lower, so you might catch that important low of the day that we always talk about. And look at that move. That was, and you don't really get another good chance to enter that. There is a failed second entry short right here. But again, you got congestion and we're way away from the EMA. So, so going long out of that is not a good idea at all. Somebody sent me their chart and they did go long. They had a little better setup than me. And it is a key entry point. And you got this support there too. And notice how that's holding. That really confirms it. So we hadn't had any close outside that line yet. So if you had a better setup than mine, you might take this. Uh, I don't like that setup on mine at all. And you sure don't want to be going long up here. You're looking for a short. And look how we start getting in that congestion. Then we have the little failed breakout up here. And you get this big bearish bar way away from the EMA. I like riding that back. And again, you're just looking for it to come back here. But it, it, you get quite a bit more out of that. And we just start. You might have taken this trade because notice your new high and there's a first entry and a second entry. So you could treat that. It's just a first entry counting off the lows, but it is a failure. So it's a, you, it could be a trap. Um, 
that's a pretty strong move, so it wouldn't surprise me at all to get another measured leg down. There's your first leg. And notice we got almost a, what well, we did, we got a perfect measured leg down. So uh, we went a little bit sideways before we did it, but we still got a measured leg down. Actually, what you've got is a two-legged, you've got a little two-legged correction and then another leg down. So this leg really starts here. And perfect measured move, really. So you might have entered that one, but then you kind of go into this congestion and there's just not another good entry in here. There's not a good signal bar, except maybe this low where you fell out the bottom and you bounced off this support. That's a fairly bullish bar. If you got enough room to get out before getting back to the EMA in here, take that trade. I marked it green, but you may take that trade. And there's just not another good setup until you fail out again and then you get this repeat pattern. There it is there. Here it was here to the short side. That's basically the same thing. This is similar. We, we had that repeat pattern multiple times today, but it's definitely a repeat of that right there. It almost looks identical, matter of fact. And again, you're way away from the EMA. Just go along there, boom, and look at it go. Another nice move. And then we just start chopping sideways again. And then you get a little failed break out the top. You've already had a close outside here and a new high. And by that time you're going sideways, you got plenty of room. And you're just kind of chopping around. Then you get a little failure out the bottom. We trade it up into this, so we'll probably succeed out the top. And guess what? You'll catch another runner here. You may not have held on to it, but you would have at least caught a runner on up to the new high there. So that's another great setup right there. Um, none of these are very good because this was the the main highs. So you don't want to be getting long into that. And we actually fail out here. There's actually a little bit of a trend line right up through there. It's really probably more like this right here. It's a little spiking channel is what it is. And you see we had to break a couple of legs up to a new high and then it reversed. So that's perfect price action. So this was a possibility. And it is a second entry short. So that's another one. I didn't mark it. It's a little aggressive. You Generally you want to wait on that lower high first just to be sure. I'll mark it. At least green. And then notice what happens. You get a first entry long, you get a second entry long, and it fails rather quickly. It's a huge bar, um, but, you know, it still fits our criteria, so you may want to take it. And then quick, easy scout, and then we just kind of go into this, and you only get one setup. And this actually broke higher and turned and went out. You could have gone short right there. You would have had enough room to get out. I don't know if I'd go short here because you don't probably have enough room now. And there's actually a second entry short here, but you had this overshoot. You actually had an overshoot of break and you had a big move down to a new low. So I'd want a little better setup than that. That That's not a great signal bar. It's got the two bar matching lows, but that does make it. Notice you got the low first entry and then it went higher. So when it breaks back low there, it is a second entry short. It's not a very uh, appealing one, so I'd just skip it. And then you do finally start to break out of here, but no way to enter here. And I'm, the only reason I marked this one is because notice all that resistance there. So you got a double whammy here. You got the upper trend channel and you got the uh, range high here. And you turn, notice you got a new low there too. You're moving up first entry and second entry. So you got a second entry short right there. A very nice signal bar way away from the EMA. You may take that one even though, and there is a close outside here already in a new high. So something to think about. And notice that little two-legged correction. A lot of times that's the center of the pattern. Um, and there, there is a second entry long right here. This is this is an inside bar though. So this is really your signal bar. You couldn't take it on mine. I think somebody else had a 
a little better setup than mine that sent me theirs. But you can't enter on my chart. And then notice we had the break two legs up and boom, it sells off. And there's just not really a good setup up here. That's not bearish enough. It's almost neutral. It is a second entry. Uh, if you had a little better signal bar, you might take that trade. But on my chart, it's just not a very good setup. You definitely can't mark it green. If you, I mean red. If you took it, it would be a very aggressive trade. So we'll mark it green. And boom, the bottom falls out. You do get a lower high here. And it is off the key entry point. But again, you're way away from the MA. And that's a long move down. So you're overdue for some correction. i be honest with you. I didn't even like marking it green, but it does fit our criteria. It is, but it, it's very risky. So it has to be green. It's almost the one I'd just almost take off the chart. So keep that in mind. And that took us into two o'clock. So wasn't a bad day. It was, a, you had to be a little patient and you had to really almost trade range rules all day. There weren't really many trend trades at all. So you just didn't get a chance to trade trends. And and a lot of people have commented about how slow and awkward it feels. But this is more of a normal market. So get used to it. We've ever, A lot of new people here, all they've known is the last couple of months is the high volatility. And it's just been absolutely crazy. But that's not normal. It's just not normal. So this is more normal price action. So don't be surprised if we continue to have relatively slow days and so forth. So it's just the way it's going to be. But I did want to say before I close, I might get this done under 20 minutes if I don't get too long here. But I wanted to take a chance, uh, an opportunity, I guess, to thank everybody just when you really start to lose faith in people, you find out there's some really good people out there. I mean, I, I just can't say enough about most of the people that we have coming into the site now are really are here to learn. People are soaking this stuff up. People are excited. It gets me excited again about doing this. Uh, so... That's part of the reason I made a lot of these changes because I, I really was getting to the point I thought I might even retire and just quit doing this. But with all the people that have come in and some of the results that I've seen from the people that have come in, I just I've been reinvigorated myself as well. So I'm not going anywhere. I've up I've spent all this effort to upgrade everything. Uh, I'm even considering taking the manual to video lessons. So I'm kicking that around if I can find the time to do it. So a lot of changes may be coming, and uh, I'm not going anywhere, but I just wanted to thank everybody for your excitement and the feedback, and and it's just like a kind of like a little breath of fresh air around here lately. And like I said, just when you really think that people just are not good people, you find out there's still a lot of really good people out there. Not everybody's out to take advantage of you. Not everybody's out to steal something from you. Not everybody's out to take your money. There's still some good people out there. And uh, just an example, I want to thank a gentleman. Who's, I've had several people send me stuff just out of the blue. I'm not I'm talking about a card or an email. I'm talking about I had a gentleman send me two of the most beautiful pictures from, um, from the Masters. And... I've got them on my wall. I took a picture of one. I'd like to share it with you. I'll, I'll try to I'll try to post it somewhere or put it up in one of the videos at some point and show it to you. But uh, I'd like to give props to to him. I usually don't call names, and I don't know. Actually, I'll wait to call his name. But I'd like to just give him a prop for this. And I mean, he does these pictures and things as a business, and so. Uh, if he if he gives me permission, I'm gonna share his information with him because you might want one of these pictures because he's very good at it and he just sent sent me two of them beautiful frame pictures and actually let me see if i can okay this doesn't really do it justice because i didn't 
you can see my camera's not straight. I got a big, huge flash there, but I didn't, I, I, in the middle of the video, I didn't want to take a bunch of time. So, but beautiful. Uh, I'm a golfer, so special for me. But he, I think he does mostly sports things. But if he, if he says it's okay, I'm gonna tell you who he. I'm gonna give you his contact information in case anybody else would be interested in any of his, any of his uh, products. But um, I mean, this was a great gift. It's hanging on my office wall now. It looks great. I appreciate it. And uh, but I've had several gestures like that lately. And so people are there's still good people out there, no matter. Um, like I said, just when you kind of give up on people and think that. Uh, it's not worth it anymore you, you meet some new people and they're they're great people so thanks for the picture and thanks for all the the notes and the prayers and everything else for my surgery and uh, i really appreciate it all so i just wanted to take a minute and thank everybody so uh, and i wanted to thank him for this picture and give him some props for it because that's that's a nice gift i mean i don't know what it uh, just the framing no telling what that probably would cost so that's a very nice gift and a very nice gesture. So, um, anyway, I'm going to move back on. So anyway, I'm going to wrap this up so that I'm not much over 20 minutes today. Cause that's kind of the goal to keep it between 15 and 20 minutes. And I probably could have hit 20 minutes today if I hadn't have started running my mouth, but I did want to thank y'all. I did want to thank everybody. Um, everybody that's watching, even if you're, you know, a lot of you, I never hear from, from, but, um, if you're watching and you're uh, enjoy and you get some benefit out of the videos, that's great. We're glad to have you and I hope you're learning something. But anyway, I'm going to wrap it up. We'll be back again to do it tomorrow. I'm done for today. This is Mac with PriceActionTradingSystem.com and we'll see you next time.